Hello and welcome to part 26 of my video series on how to use Blender 2.6. In this video I'm going to be covering how to use the Boolean modifier. The Boolean modifier is a tool that you can use to create custom shape by combining two shapes in different ways. The Boolean modifier always requires that you have two shapes that you're working with and you can combine them in different ways like cutting using one to cut a hole out of another one. Um, but you can do it in different ways so that you can create uh, very interesting custom shapes for end results that you're looking for, and it'll save you a lot of time. So I'm going to be working with two shapes, which you need to do in order to use the Boolean modifier. I'm going to be working with a cube and a cylinder, so I'm going to go ahead and add the cylinder. I'm going to make it a little bit narrower and then a little bit taller. There we go. And because there are three options for the Boolean modifier, three different operations that we can do, I'm going to be doing uh, using the Boolean modifier three times. So I'm going to make two more duplicates of these two objects. And we're going to be combining them in different ways. When you add the Boolean modifier, you're adding it to one of the two objects. You always need two objects. And depending on which one you add it to, you will result in a different shape. Um, and there is no wrong answer. Um, but kind of the rule of thumb is that you want to add it to the object that looks most like the shape of your desired end result. In this case I'm going to be adding it always to the cube because I want my end result to look most like a cube. Um, but you can try it in either way. You can select either or add it to either the cylinder or the cube. To add the boolean modifier, you're going to select the object that you want to add it to. Go to your properties window, the object modifiers or wrench tab and add the boolean, B-O-L-E-A-N, modifier. The boolean modifier um, only has two real options. There's a menu where you can choose your operation. There's three operations that you can do. Intersect, if my computer will let me click it. There we go. Um, intersect, union, and difference. So we'll try all three. We'll start with difference. And the Boolean modifier requires you to point to that second shape. In this case, the second shape is the cylinder, and it's called just cylinder. The second one's called cylinder one, the third one's called cylinder two. Um, so back to these Boolean options, I'm going to select my first cylinder. And as far as we can see, nothing happens. Well, things actually did happen, but you can't see them right now because, for one, we're in solid view, and we can't see the geometry really well. We can't see the faces and edges very well. Um, so what we'll do with the cube selected is go to our object tab and under the object tab, the, the cube, we can turn on some display options. The one that we're going to turn on is wire and that lets us see the faces on the object. It actually makes the faces have black outlines just in the 3D viewport, not when you render. So as you can see this cube now has a, has a bunch of extra edges pointing towards the cylinder and that's because the difference operation actually took the shape of the cylinder and cut a hole in that shape through the middle of the cube. So we added the boolean modifier to the cube, we selected the difference operation and pointed to the cylinder and it cut a hole in the cube in the shape of the cylinder. If I press Z or Z to go into wireframe display mode, you can see now that with the cube selected in orange, there is actually a hole cut, a round hole cut to the middle of the cube. Um, now because the boolean modifier is still applied, I can move the cylinder around, so I can move it that way, and as you can see the hole is updating in real time, so it's actually moving that hole around. Um, and we can even scale that, make it a smaller hole, have it only cutting into the side, uh, scale it back up, you can even have it just act like a cavity going into the side or through the middle of the cube. The kind of bad thing about the Boolean modifier is that because you're creating a hole and you're basically forcing new geometry to be added to the cube or your, your originating object, um, Blender has to compensate by cutting faces up um, into triangles to try to fit enough vertices in. Because as of right now, um, faces can only have three or four sides. You can't just cut a, a round section out of a single face. And because that face would have a whole bunch of different vertexes and faces, or edges rather, along the side. Therefore it needs to cut it up to make new geometry, and it does that by adding really ugly triangular faces all going to one or two or three points. Um, so that is the bad thing. If we want to make this the final shape, which we can, we'll just press apply under the boolean modifier, and we can delete the cylinder. 
my computer will catch up. There we go. And there's my final shape. Isn't that wonderful? On to the second option, we're going to go ahead and select the cube, add the Boolean modifier. We're going to choose the union operation, if my computer will let me. There we go. And again, we'll turn on the wire display, the edge display of on the cube, so we can see the edges. And under the Boolean modifier options, we're going to point to the cylinder.001, which is the cylinder that we want. And I'm going to go ahead and press apply right away. And what basically the union operation did was made one object out of both of the objects. Um, so if I go into wireframe display by pressing Z or Z, I'll delete my original cylinder and go back into solid view. And that is the resulting shape from the union operator. What it did was it took the two shapes and combined them. Um, and this is better than just, or sometimes better than just combining their, joining the two meshes together without the Boolean modifier. Because if I go into wireframe mode, you can see that there is no internal geometry. If I had just taken two meshes and selected them both and pressed Control J, it would have combined them into one mesh, but they wouldn't have really been joined together. They would have been two separate kind of sub-objects within the same object, and they would still be geometry or faces. The cylinder would still run through the middle of the cube. With the Boolean modifier, it actually joined them where they meet and made one kind of mesh out of the two objects, which can be good, except that we still have these triangular faces. Um, normally, these, these triangular faces won't cause too much of a problem, um, as long as you are... Um, not adding like subsurf to the object because triangles tend to not act too well when you're using the subsurf modifier to smooth out the object. Um, on to the third example. So we're going to select the cube, go and add the Boolean modifier. I'm going to change it to intersect and select the cylinder.002. And the intersect operation. Um, the resulting mesh from the intersect operation is just where the two shapes overlap. So basically where the cube, I'm going to do turn off the display of it right now, just so we can see what the original shapes were by clicking the little I. Um, the, we have a cube and we have a cylinder, and where they overlap, which is basically where the cylinder is in the, with the height of the cube, um, is what remains from the intersect uh, operation. I can still move the cylinder around and that will affect what happens, what the end result is, of course. And I can press apply and then delete the original uh, cylinder and there is the resulting shape. So there are the three options. We have difference, union, and intersect. Now we can use these to create uh, kind of fun shapes and help us in real world examples, of course. I'm going to make a new file um, and we're actually going to create the Death Star from Star Wars, or at least a very rough and dirty version of the Death Star. So I'm going to add a UV sphere. That's going to be the Death Star. And I'm going to press Shift D to duplicate that. And we're going to rotate it so it kind of faces the circles, face the Death Star. And we'll make it smaller. It rotate a little bit. And stick it right about there. The Death Star in Star Wars has a bowl cut out of the top hemisphere of the spaceship because it has a laser coming out of that section. Um, so we're basically going to use this smaller UV sphere to cut a bowl out of this larger UV sphere. So I'm going to have the larger UV sphere selected. We're going to add the Boolean modifier. And we're going to select difference and point to the smaller sphere. Apply the Boolean modifier. Delete the smaller UV sphere and we have a really rough beginnings of a Death Star. Of course, I would want to align this a little bit better. It's a little bit off-centered, and therefore these concentric rings aren't exactly in the center of the bowl, but I would spend more than five seconds doing it next time, of course. One more example. I'm going to open up a file that I prepped beforehand. I believe that's it on my desktop. There is a cutout of a person running. It's a 2D shape, except I've extruded it out, so it's kind of a thick 2D cutout. What we're going to do is create the effect, um, the Looney Tunes effect, or the cartoon effect, where um, a character quickly runs and breaks through a wall, and then the dust clears, and you see the wall has a hole in the shape of a person. So I'm going to uh, press Shift-A, and we're going to add the wall. 
and we're going to make it thinner, scale it on the y-axis, and scale it on the x and z axes. Maybe scale it, make it thinner. So basically, we're, we're going to result in a wall with a hole cut in it, in the shape of the person. So the end result is going to look more like a uh, wall. So we're going to have the add the boolean modifier to the the big wall, the the cube, and we're going to go to add a boolean, and we're going to use the difference modifier or the difference operation again, and select the man, which is just called cube, unfortunately and press apply and if I delete the man I've got a wall left over with uh, a person cut out of it of course if I go into edit mode you'll see all of that very very ugly geometry um, but that is just kind of one of the downsides of using the boolean modifier otherwise it's a very uh, great tool and you can create um, unique custom shapes quite easily with it in my next video, we'll talk about one of the new modifiers in Blender, which actually solves the, this triangle problem. Um, that isn't quite out yet in Blender, but it'll be coming out in the next version. Uh, but until then, give Boolean modifier a try, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.